Still full of tarped roofs and homes turned construction sites. A sad reality that our area is still recovering and far from the finish line. Welcome back. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Lois Tomey. Wink News consumer reporter Andriana Shepard breaks down just how many homeowners are trying to put the damage behind them. I just want my life back. Deborah Crocart's bedroom in her Cape Coral home used to be the place she relaxed at the end of the day. The space that brought peace. Now it does the opposite. It's stripped to nothing but concrete, wooden posts, and wires hanging from the walls. But it's kind of hard to walk in this room. And I do it every day because I have to sweep up what's fell from the night before, or bugs, or whatever the case might be. It's a constant flashback to September 28th. It was terrifying. And we heard this big crash. So I walked through the door, and the ceiling was on the bed. I thought the ceiling was going to come down on our car. We would take our car down to our friends and put it in their garage every time it rained. That's when Crocart called and filed a claim with her insurance company, Homeowner's Choice. She says the whole process has kept her on edge, especially since she's moving her elderly mother with dementia in to care for her. And we have nowhere to put her. So my beautiful Canadian neighbors are going to let me put her there for a little bit. And I've put a deposit on an apartment up the street, but it's going to financially cripple us. According to the Homeowner's Choice website, they have 100,000 policyholders and growing in Florida and five other states. But she says the company and her assigned desk adjuster have been dragging their feet ever since. And she more or less argued with me over everything right then and there. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. We don't have a ceiling. We don't have this. And the baseboard, she goes, oh, you can put the baseboard back up and paint it. And I said, I go, what planet are you on? A field adjuster came out to look at the damage, but. I showed him everything. Well, he didn't include half of the stuff that's wrong. You know, when I had a public adjuster come and they got that bill, they were like, oh, no. You know, so they were told to come out several times. They have not. They've not responded or anything. So Crocart stepped it up and hired a lawyer. I am so disappointed in their actions and what they have ignored to probably other people as well to our plight and don't care. What has this process been like for you? It's been nothing but a nightmare. No answers back. And she's not alone. As of March 2023, data from the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation shows close to 400,000 homeowners opened Hurricane Ian claims. About 77% are closed, but nearly 90,000 are still open. Some paid, others are still waiting on checks. Crocart says one finally came in December. It was for 32,000 and some change. It wasn't the right amount, and it didn't even say what it was for. Crocart's estimated cost for damages is more than $184,000. She says the $32,000 check was barely enough to fix the roof. Again, Crocart said the desk adjuster told her homeowner's choice wouldn't cover certain damage, even though she says it's all covered in her policy. Numerous things, like landscaping, uh, debris cleanup, and she said, well, no, we weren't responsible for that. That's in here. I so she filed a complaint with the Department of Financial Services. Crocart believes she spent more than $15,000 out of pocket to get her home back to normal. People pay their premiums faithfully. They get a nice chunk of change annually. You do that for this very reason, and then they ignore you. I emailed and called Homeowner's Choice. Someone with the company called me back a couple days later, saying they'd send another inspector out. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that. Thank you. He added he called Crocart's attorney and that the company would be cutting another check for contents. In Cape Coral, Andriana Shepard, Wink News. Andriana, thanks. Now, the total number of Hurricane Ian-related insurance claims filed, according to the state, is more than 700,000. That includes flood and commercial property claims costing close to $14 billion. If you still have issues with your insurance company after the storm, send us an email at tips at winknews.com.